Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talking about this uh, truss, roof truss. Okay, now uh, we have to uh, we can uh, we have to make this uh, this uh, truss, roof truss uh, today. Uh, steel truss. Okay, let's uh, do it. Okay, so first of all, just I uh, I have to close this file for now. Now go to this uh, adaptive family, click new and generic model adaptive, then open. Now place the four point, simply four point, place the four point and now select this point and make adaptive. Okay, now select this, uh, select this two point first and create SP line and select also select this two point create sp line uh, select two point and create sp line and also create uh, this two point and create sp line now this sp line convert to transfer to a uh, reference line now just drag this uh, this point uh, uh, parallel perpendicular this four point now uh, Select this. Uh, we have to place a point. We have to place a point in middle part, middle uh, middle portion, middle point of this uh, two, these two lines. Okay. So how to do that? First, uh, select two point. Select this point and place this mid line of this uh, mid uh, point of this line. Also set this mid point of this line now select this uh, two point and create sp line also say uh, if we set actually uh, we just select this line and just delete it and we have to uh, set a four point instead this uh, this adaptive point eh? okay so just uh, we have to place a four point of uh, top of this uh, this adaptive point and uh, to so to do that uh, so just click this point and just pick this set work plane and pick this uh, horizontal work plane of this adaptive one and place the point and just drag this point up and thus we have to place another three uh, three point in horizontal uh, pl work plane each of this each point so just do it Okay, just uh, we have to create a four point of this uh, reference uh, reference uh, of this adaptive point. Okay, now uh, just have to make a parameter for this four point. Just select the four point and in properties panel, uh, just uh, uh, in offset area offset section, just click this button and create a parameter. Say offset. and make this for type and then okay just click it okay now uh, select this uh, two point and create a sp line and just transfer to reference line also select this point sp line and transfer to reference line and select this two point uh, sp line and transfer to reference line also select this two point and sp line and transfer to reference line now we have to set the middle uh, middle 
set a middle point of this line now select this two point also sp line and transfer to reference line because we have to set a tube tube a structural frame of this ref, uh, place this reference line okay that's how uh, that's why uh, we used this uh, we have to uh, we make this reference line so uh, just place a middle uh, portion just place a point of this line in middle portion just pick, uh, select this point and pick place this point of this middle part of this line just select this uh, we have to place not this line place not this uh, upper part of this reference line we have to place a lower part this uh, this part uh, we have to place this line of this uh, this lower part of this rectangular shape just select uh, just select this and uh, delete it and also just uh, select this again place this point place this point in the uh, middle part of this uh, reference line just drag uh, both, both select this both line uh, sorry both point and uh, place the uh, uh, trans uh, create a sp line and transfer to reference line now uh, place a point of this uh, place a point mid portion of this line and say uh, just select this and and join this uh, both join this this point and also this point okay and uh, join this line and transfer to reference line also select this point select this point create a line sorry select this point and also select this point and create a line and in transfer to reference line select this point and also select this uh, upper part point and create a sp line also transfer to reference line select this point create a sp line transfer to reference line we just forgot this line to create a sp line, uh, reference line just transfer to reference line uh, so uh, now uh, just we have now after that we have to place a profile tube uh, cylindrical profile cylindrical uh, circle profile circle for create a tube structure okay tube frame so uh, just click a point place uh, select place this uh, place this uh, line uh, place a point of this uh, line in each web web line just select a point this place this point and pick uh, create a new uh, create a circle create a circle uh, of this point uh, for our, uh, this reference uh, hidden reference plane select the hidden reference plane of this point and create a uh, place a circle just draw a circle for now and just select this circle and uh, and uh, create a parameter say r is r1 okay just uh, make it uh, for type and uh, i just uh, uh, place a dimension for now say 2 inch okay now select uh, we have to uh, transfer this line uh, circle line to in reference line select this circle and copy it so for and multiple 
place a point anywhere for now Select the point and pick a new host and also place the this line. Okay, now uh, select this say, uh, place uh, also a circle of top of this rectangle area. So uh, place a circle, uh, also place a point of this top of this rectangle area and place this uh, place a circle profile of this reference reference point in hidden plane uh, reference plane area just draw a circle for now and uh, select this circle and transfer to reference line and uh, make a dimension parameter say r2 just uh, make sure the um, the type properties is active and click ok <coughs> i just uh, diamond set the dimension for say 6 inch Now select a profile uh, also this line, uh, uh, place a profile also this middle part of this line. Okay, so select a point first, uh, select a point for and place this point of this line and uh, select create a circle and, uh, and uh, place main plane and pick a plane of this point draw a circle and transfer to reference line and create a parameter say r3 okay copy this uh, profile i just uh, replace this dimension say 3 inch and copy this profile double c of the keyboard of this keyboard hit the keyboard and just uh, uncheck the constraint and just copy it pick this point and pick a new host and place the this point of this line now select the this uh, this two circle of this uh, middle portion of this line and also select this line and create a form now place this point of the start point of this uh, place this point and uh, place and trust and drag to this point and also select this point and drag this point to this end part Now select this point and uh, also select uh, sorry select this line and also select this line and uh, uh, select this profile circle. Control hit the control key of this uh, of your keyboard and uh, create a form. Also create this web. Also uh, select this circle and also select this line and uh, create a form. And now I just uh, select a uh, upper part of this rectangle area. And create a surface. and uh, just apply a uh, material of this surface say glass
okay that's it uh, this is uh, this is the um, uh, this is the uh, one pattern of trust family and we have to place this uh, we have to place uh, this uh, trust family of the mass model so first uh, create a mass family open the mass family conceptual mass and say just draw a surface first create a sp, uh, sp line and just copy it and make sure this line transfer to in reference line and create a form and go to the elevation and just move this surface in somewhere in up up the, uh, from this level and just uh, go to 3d view and just uh, make a curved surface say it drag this point for now drag this point for now. okay mm -hmm. also this uh, select this point create a curved surface okay now uh, just select this point of this area now just select this surface uh, just uh, this uh, click this surface and create a divide surface and select the divide uh, grid line and uh, uh, surface uh, click this uh, reference uh, surface representation in arrow key and create a node now uh, we have to load uh, this adaptive family we have to load this adaptive families on this mass model mass, mass family so just go to this adaptive family and load into project in this area just select and place each point uh, place uh, this uh, adaptive family uh, this uh, this grid point in each uh, point of this grid point okay one two three four and now go to this 3d view and just select this uh, adaptive family and hit the repeat key repeat tool as you see the uh, curve shape truss already created that's how we create a curves uh, shape truss roof truss in mass model area okay we can uh, create a different organic shape truss in mass model area and also create uh, in uh, adaptive we can uh, through this uh, adaptive family so that's it for now okay we will uh, see you in next video tutorial okay thank you assalamu alaikum